parks, no uh, indoor facilities other than ramp works. So the kids have, have tend to, to be on the street skating. Council wardens would be, be trigger happy with their, their notebooks and giving fines out. But all the major spots that we did skate, Seal Street, uh, you know, the pier head, that's ceased to exist there. Street skating's different, it's totally different. You do miss it, but these places are cool. If you can, well, it's all we got. <laughs> it's all we can skate now, so. <laughs> we used to skate here anyway, and um, it was getting more and more neglected, and like people were over the other far side over there, there was just, there was about three, three to five tons of just rubbish, like people had fly tip crap everywhere. And just like, well, why don't we just clean it up and use it, because we've got nowhere to skate. We, totally had no permission to do it or anything so we just three of us came in high-vis jackets so we looked like council workers and just started cleaning up the space in the daytime and then we came back in the night put the first transition in the wooden transition and filled it with dirt and I think two nights later or something we came down with a little uh, generator a couple of lights and put the first concrete transition down it was fucking dreadful <laughs> but, uh, we ended up with a collection tin in the skate shop and anyone that went in on a summer's day was if there was building going on it's like get down there and go and help when people see such a thing happening they they think oh you know i'd love to get involved we had little 10 year old kids with trowels in their hands helping us just like oh, just make a little bit and it's yours you know? every day there was 10 12 kids down there just lending a hand you know just because they purely wanted to skate it when it was finished everybody that i know really thinks it's amazing but I can guess there's a lot of people who just don't get it, just totally don't get it or why we'd do it, but they never will get it. <laughs>guys that own the land because they, they have lots of businesses around here and the, I think the bank repossessed it anyway the, it changed hands and the co-op had it and they put fences up around it so they, they were basically scared of insurance of somebody suing them if they hurt themselves we were all really surprised because no one knew it had changed hands and that the land that we, they didn't want us to be here so we all just turned up to skate and there's like a 15 foot green wall all the way around it. you're quite boxed in and before there was no fence and it, it was it was quite an open space. People could come down with their kids and, and just watch the skateboarders. Now it feels like you're enclosed. A couple of us like spoke to the radio and the paper and stuff like that. Biennial in the end, sorted it out with the bank and paid the insurance for the land for the year for us. We didn't ask them to, they just did. The last we heard was that the council had uh, purchased the land from the bank and that the land was to be used for for five years maybe. Hopefully we've got a good few years down there and and you know, if the best thing that comes from it is that the council say, right, we really need to build something else in the city, then you know, the job that we've done has been worth it. You know? idea what you know what scotters rights and all that you know at least they're turning it over and making it somewhat usable aren't they it's it's nicer when you've made it to skate it yourself as well like because you know it's going to be sketchy and it's going to hurt and it's not perfect bringing people together so that's pretty good it's free and yeah it's just the dars we haven't got to worry about anything so